So they go and like drink the nectar. They, if they see a flower that is like in a withered state, or like, yeah, they only go to the best of the best flowers in order to get the nectar. So how can, how? What does that say about us? When we go in the you know outside world looking for sources of income, maybe applying for a job, or like starting a business, or like you know finding looking for clients to pay for your freelancing work. We need to make sure that it is uh, it is a halal income. It is from the best source, and yeah, and because that's uh, one of the sunnahs of the honeybee. You see. Another thing about honeybees is that like, okay, once they uh, go to the flower, a honeybee, it's um, even the bee they collect the nectar from the flower. They they are different from other uh, insects. What they do is see a uh, honeybee it's like around five to six times heavier than the flower that they sit on and then they collect nectar however they hover over the flower in such a way that like okay if the honeybee sits on a petal of the flower due to its weight the petal will like you know uh, break off but they hover over the flower in such a way that they shift the weight uh, away from the flower and they sit on it delicately so that it doesn't harm the flower and then it collects its nectar. And also when it's when it collects it when it collects the nectar from the flower, it also gives back something in return, which is the pollen, uh, which is you know um, very very crucial for flowers to turn into fruits and then you know become fruits and like help us in food. And it, it is known to like improve the overall economy of the world. So what can we learn from this aspect of the honeybee? Well. When we ask for help from someone else, or like when we provide services to someone, what we are supposed to like do, what we can learn from the honeybee is like take less and give more. You know, 
and try to be as easy going when you ask someone from for help. If someone is capable to help you with something, try to see if whatever you're asking them help of, it will be comfortable for them to like give it to you. They don't have to like go out of their way. Like try to make it um, make it make them easy for them to help you. And if they do help you, try to give back more in return. We can see that like um, about our volunteering work, maybe even the job that we work in. Um, maybe like yeah, we are working for like maybe we are working in, um, like tasks. Maybe we have an Excel sheet work or like maybe we have a donation aspect. If try to you know overwork others, give back more than what you take. And another thing about honeybees is like when they go and like they see a flower and they collect a nectar, they hunt for like the best flowers and then once they find a pack of uh, flowers to collect the nectar from, they collect it, they go back to their hive and then they do a specific dance in front of the uh, honey, um, the, the hive. Yeah, This dance is their way of communicating to the other bees that hey look, I found uh, a collection of uh, flowers at this in, in five kilometers from here. They have more nectar. I've made the job easy for you guys. You can go and collect the nectar from over there and then come back and return. So they not only you know, go and seek uh, providence, they uh, look for the flowers and nectars, they also share with others that, okay, look, you know what? I found this, it has helped me. Let me share it with you so that it will help you too. That's another aspect that we can learn from. And um, if you, if if Allah has given you guidance, if Allah has given you providence, if Allah has maybe like given you a job application, um, Allah has, uh, in your Alhamdulillah, you have you have been employed by your employer. It is sunnah of the honeybee. And like Allah also, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, you need to help others. So if you are employed, you could you know help your other brothers out by recommending them to the same job. Or in you know similar ways, helping others out either with education, helping them out in homeworks, or like um, helping them out financially, emotionally, any other way. And also, in, yeah, another thing, uh, you know, in corporate culture, people, the employees, they fight with each other in order to get the top spot. Sometimes they yeah, they are jealous of each other, and like they do things that will harm others so that. The boss will, you know, look at the, this other person in a bright light and like promote them. That is also like not advisable. That's something the honeybees do. They don't do. If they find something pretty good, they share it with others. So, with that being said, let's be more like the honeybees.